everybody welcome back to my channel so but today i decided to show you a video of all of the different plants that i have water propagating and i decided to do that because it's the beginning of the new year it's like the first week of 2020 and um i've been seeing other other people's plants um what's the word resolutions <laughs> for the new year and i was looking at what i had and um a, one girl on instagram i think her handle is uh jungle room i'll tag it up here somewhere but she had a story about how she wanted to um consolidate her plants um down to 100 plants and that she wanted to basically focus on her happy healthy plants and um get rid of the ones that were struggling so essentially she wanted to keep um you know one core group of plants she put a number on it of 100 I'm not up to 100 yet. Last time I counted, I was at like 60 something. That's not the point. I don't have a set number in mind, but I like that she said she wanted to focus on the plants that she was able to keep happy and healthy and give her attention to, and then basically um, get rid of those that were struggling and that um, she didn't really do any, you know, any work on anyway. So I thought that was a good idea. I took a walk through mine. There were only like three that had been struggling that I was hanging on to, like I could turn them around and I kind of just got rid of those. Um, one of them was the, is it called the friendship plant? It was a pilea that had been barely hanging on since before the, the weather turned. Cause I'm in winter now as are many people. And then the other one was, um, what was it? It was some kind of trade scantia. It was the fuzzy one, the spider web one. It, I had a clip, a clipping of it that I traded for something else. It did well for a while. It even bloomed. But then it just kind of took a turn and then I had it in something that wasn't draining. So I just didn't think that it was salvageable. Um, it was down to like a last little skinny stretched out piece. So I just got rid of that. And then what was the third one? Um, one other small one. There weren't, um, you know, big, huge plants. It was just smaller ones that were just like kind of scraggly looking. So I tossed them out. But anyway, as I said, while we're here, I'm going to show you what I have in water propagation. So let me turn a little bit here. This is, as you can see, is my TV stand. Some of these, um, they, they're here all the time. Others are not. I just moved them here for the purpose of this video. I have them in different places around the house. So this is uh, the first one I'm going to show you here. It had more in here. I did sell a couple cu um, rooted cuttings on my Etsy shop which is closed for weather right now. But anyway, this last little piece was left. It does have, you can see that, it does have some roots on it, so it's in here. And this little jar, if you wanna see where I got this, I have a video um, about my thrifted um, plant accessories and so forth. So I got this um, tinted glass from the thrift store and I use it to propagate, it's really cute. And so that's what's in there. Okay, next, this was actually a fresh cutting. You want to help? You want to help? This is actually um, a fresh cutting of Cebu Blue Pothos. And again, I got this um, decanter container from the thrift store. But um, I put this in there a couple days ago because the one that was in here, I transferred to soil. And so I wanted to fill it back up. So this is a nice little piece of Cebu Blue. These trays here normally do stay out here on my TV stand. I did purchase those from Dollar General for like um, $4 a piece, something like that. <sighs> this little pitiful little leaf right here is the narrow leaf, um, the narrow leaf Monstera Adsonii. Um, I had a big bunch of a cutting and it got like a fungus or something. I didn't want it to spread to my other plants. The leaves just all died off, so I got rid of it. But this is one little remaining piece. It has roots on it. It was in the soil. It wasn't doing well in the soil, so I pulled it out and put it back in water. So we'll see what happens with this one. Right next to it here, I have um, a nice length vine, as you can see, from my philodendron micans. I've taken so many propagations of this. I've sold some. I've given some away. I have a really big um, healthy plant. And so whenever certain pieces get too long, I'm looking over there, that's where the main plant is. I'll show it to you. But anytime anything gets like too long, 
um, I clip it off and stick it in some water and it does really well. And then, let me see, behind me here, another set of those same bottles. And these, as you can see, put it up here for you. These both have um, the philodendron, micans, cuttings in them as well. This one has some roots on it and this one has a couple. These are longer, but um, I like them in the water. And so I'll leave it there for a while. I did actually have a cutting of the philodendron micans that was in water. I took it out and put it into soil. And it's in like about, maybe it's a three inch pot. And I think, you want some water? Okay, hold on. Be right back guys. So I had a cutting of um, philodendron micans that I took out of water because it had some um, roots on it and I stuck it in the soil. It's about a three inch pot, I believe. Um, it's not very big, it's about like this deep, but I think possibly it's too big because one of the leaves kind of like rotted off, but now the other two that are in there seem to be fine. So I need to remind myself, I have like, um, there are like two inch pots, the really tiny pots over there um, that I was able to find at, the, at a thrift store also. I need to remind myself to find those so I can start the cuttings all in a small pot when I, they first go into soil. Because the last bunch of cuttings that I did, I feel like what the issue was is that I took them from the water, even though they had roots on them, then I put them into the soil and then you're watering them. And I think it was just too much um, soil, too much moisture being held on the soil or something. I don't know. I think it, the pot was too big that I put it in and so did fare well on the last couple cuttings. And so I had to pull them out and put them back into water. But anyhow, so that's those there. We'll start over here. Um, I mean, I'll show it to you. It's not a propagation. I guess technically this is my Mar Marimo Moss Balls and again if you want to know how I got this container I have a video on how to get um, cheap plant accessories you can check that out. I'm this started off you. as one ball and then I saw a video, okay go ahead, Connor give your sister another cookie please. This started off as one ball and then I was on um, Facebook. And I saw somebody say how you could separate off the smaller pieces to propagate it. So I did that. So now there are four in here. And they're not perfectly shaped. When I go to change it again, I usually, um, like, shake it around, something said, to, like, simulate a current of the river. I don't know. But usually when I change the water, I take them out and I just give them a roll like that and I put them back in. So there's that. Let's keep coming across. This one here is another Cebu cutting. I have a huge Cebu, um, Cebu blue pothos that I actually was able to pick up from Walmart. And so I propagate it a lot as well because it, it's right behind me. I don't know if you can see it, but it grows pretty very quickly. And so I like to propagate it. This little ripple peperomia was supposed to be a black peperomia. It was never black. I don't know if it was or not. Um, I underwatered it and then I overwatered it and it was just too far gone for it to spring back. So I was able to keep this little piece. It has some roots on it. So I just stuck it in the water. I don't know what it's gonna do. The other part that I had um, didn't make it in the water, but this little piece is hanging on. So we'll see what happens. And that bottle that I just showed you, this is actually the bottom of a, um, a water mister, a Ray Dunn water mister. So I, use, I like to propagate everything um, as you can see in glass. When I first started, I'll have some things in um, plastic. I use old baby bottles, but now um, through recycling and thrifting, I have all of my propagations in glass, which is how I like them to be. So this one here is, let me bring that up close. This little guy right here, this is a recycled bottle. This had like my hair oil drops in it or something. Um, so I recycled that and cleaned it out. But as you can see, this little guy has a piece of string of parts in there and a piece of string of pearls and the story with the string of pearls is so funny because i had a string of pearls i was so happy to get it back over the summer it did well for a bit and then it just wasn't doing well anymore i tried repotting fast forward long story short it was down to like the last little piece and i just laid it on top of some soil and stuck it in a windowsill which happens to be behind my couch so i don't see it on a regular basis and so i forgot it was there and then the other day when i was doing some cleaning I happened to glance back there and I saw it and it had like some roots on it and it was there so I took it plopped it into this water bottle it was very wrinkled back there obviously because it, it was thirsty 
I popped it into this bottle and it plumped all back up. And then so I had a little piece of string of hearts that I just stuck in there. So I'm gonna leave it in there and see what it does. It has some roots on it. I can see a new root off of it actually as I'm looking in here. And then the string of hearts has a little new water root too. I don't know if you're able to see that. But that one was really cool, pretty cool to find that back there because I definitely have forgotten about it. Now this here is not really a water propagation technically, but I'm gonna bring that in close so you can see that. What this is, is from, um, it's from one of the, um, the phyllo. So it's either the green leaf phyllo or the philodendron Brazil. It's kind of barely hanging on now at this point. But um, this was a regular stem that has stuck in the water. And all of these, if you look close, you can see it has roots and leaves. So that started off as just a regular stem of the plant put down in the water to propagate. And then I noticed over time that where the roots and um, were starting to form, actual leaves were forming under the water. So I thought it was so cool. It's coming down to its end though, as you saw. This has been, it's been a few months. And I just thought it looked so cool, so I wanted to keep it and see what it did. But it's starting to rot away now. But I just think it's just cool. So I just leave it sitting in water like that just to watch it and see what it's going to end up doing. And then I'll do all the little bottles first. This one right here is another example of a water propagation that took on roots. And then once I put it into um, the pot of soil, um, it wasn't doing too well. So I plopped it back out and put it back in water. And it is a Mandula pothos cutting. It has the three leaves. This is an original leaf when I put it in there. These two formed in the water. Um, and then this one here is a spear from the, um, what is it called? From the, it's a snake plant. Um, cylindrica, Sansevieria cylindrica. That's what it is. That's in there as well. But this Mandula I had put into a pot of soil it got droopy and I watered it and it was still droopy so I plucked it out because I didn't want to lose it and um, once again I'm thinking that the little even though it was a small um, little planter I think it was too big for that and so I just put it back into the water to save the cutting and I have to like I said get some of those super small um, terracotta ones that I have that are for the purpose of you know those small ones and what else do we have going right across this is from my red maranta um prayer plant and this one is doing very well all of these right here are new growth that happened this one stays in the bathroom and it has really taken off there the one that's in my front room grows well too but this one really seems to like it um in the bathroom as you can see the leaves are nice and healthy the little story behind this one is that it started off in water. I took it out of the water once it had, you know, some significant roots. And then I had put it in the soil. It was doing fine in the soil. And then I think, what did I do? I changed the pot. I went to change it because I wanted all my plants to be in terracotta. I think it was in plastic. And so when I went to change it, when I went to pull it out, um, even though I, like, smushed the container to release the root ball, I think that I... Um, I know I disrupted the roots because I could hear like a tear and then when it came out it was just, like the smallest bit of roots left on it so I repotted it up anyway thinking it would be okay and it started to droop within the next day or so so I automatically knew what it was so I pulled it out of the soil and I put it back in here so it can um, regrow some roots it's perked back up and it's doing fine but it has only like a, a couple little roots at the bottom mama why do you have look at her look at this child show them your cookies she has went and raided the cookie jar Okay, so, yeah, it doesn't have any, um, a lot of roots on it anymore, but that's okay because, let me move some of these out of the way. I'm going to, um, just let it build back up, basically. So, like I said, that one's usually in the bathroom, um, and it does well in there. Now, this one here is from a green leaf, um, philodendron. And I did a video a while back about this one um, because for whatever reason, that's a whole other video. I have my theories, but people have an issue with plants being at big box stores and, and buying there. So um, I purchased this one from a local nursery. I paid $22 for it. It was a big hanging basket, about like an 8 or 10 inch hanging basket. It had some signs of yellowing when I got it, but I figured it was just a few older leaves. 
and it's just been pretty much giving me problems it was okay for a while but it just was a mess so i pulled it out to try to save some as you can see it has some nice roots down there but even it started to just dwindle down i had a nice big bunch it was in a bigger glass and it just started dwindling down so i'm trying to save these last little couple things and maybe i'll stick them in some soil soon and see um but yeah this was like three times the size in the other um water jar i had like a big pickle jar it was in and i don't know the leaves just started yellowing and so that's what's left of that i'm leaving that to propagate in there put that down there this piece right here is from the same red marantha prayer plant um as you can see it has like some roots on there this takes a pretty long time to get roots this one has been in it used to be in this jar right here and it was in there for a while for sure like and it put out a new leaf right here um but i don't know it just hasn't done as much as the other piece that was in the bathroom um so i moved it a little bit it sits right here now this stays here and so it's more directly across from the window so we'll see what happens with this because this was in the kitchen and then i brought it in the front room off to the side so now it's here this one here technically it's in water so i guess it's a water propagation I wouldn't consider it a propagation because I really don't expect it to sprout. It's just a stem of the philodendron hope, whatever they're calling it now. Now, I know the name got changed and recategorized. I refer to it as a philodendron hope, and um, which is barely hanging on right now. I don't know what ended up happening to my main plant, but when I was trimming it, this one got trimmed off and it still looked good. Um, so I'm not exactly sure why I trimmed it off. But anyway, I decided to plop it in some water it's been in there for a few weeks now. No root, but it's still pretty and green. So if nothing else, I'll just leave it in there. But I thought it would be interesting to see what it would actually do. Because it's not a node or anything. And to propagate the um, this type of a plant, my understanding was you had to do a root separation. So I just put it in there to see what it would do. What else do we have that I didn't show? Um, That's about it for... Oh no, these right here. Okay, this one here, I just wanted to show you um, the bottle. If you follow me on Instagram, um, I'll link it for you. I did an Instagram TV video of how I did this quick DIY. This is a bottle, it's an old Stoli bottle. It's a liquor bottle. It's glass though, and I like the shape and the detailing of it. And this right here is just jute twine that I just took and just wrapped around there and tucked it in, and I thought that looked really cute. And so I propagate with these. This is a nice full vine of philodendron Brazil. And this vine, actually, I didn't intend to propagate, but I was watering my main plant. And <coughs> excuse me, it had dried out pretty well there, and I didn't realize it. And so when I was um, going to water it, I lift this vine up to move it over out the way, and it just came right out. So I took it and put it in here. And if you look close, I don't know if you can see those little roots in there. This has only been in here for less than two weeks. So it's putting out leaves pretty quickly and roots rather. And these leaves were limp, but now they're nice and firm. So that's how I know it's taken very well um, because the, lip, the, the leaves have firmed up. And then this one here, the same thing, the same DIY I did with the same um, bottle. Just has another vine of micans in there. I don't know. I just really like propagating, propagating the micans. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Then lastly, move these over. I don't know if you can see right here. I'm moving it to the front. These little guys right here have snake plant in them. This is the coral, black coral snake plant. And then I have one um, cylindrica back here as well. And basically, this is one long stem from my main plant. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is one um, long stem from my main plant that I picked up from Aldi when they had um, the fiddle leaf figs and the snake plants. It's about like three or so feet tall, and it's in... I think that's a 10 inch pot but anyway it had one arm that wasn't standing straight up it was like kind of like bent over so I decided to cut that one off and um, 
propagate it. These little containers are from Dollar General. I got them for, I want to say they were 10 cents. It's actually a votive candle holder covered in burlap. It's from, I don't know if you guys used to watch um, David Cetera and his planning business. He had a line of planning stuff that ended up in Dollar General. And so, whatever. It was on clearance. I thought they were cute. Um, I like the look of the burlap. And so I got them. And so I figured it would be good to use for that. And as you can see, these aren't doing anything. I know they take a very long time to propagate, so I just keep them, <clears throat> keep them in there, make sure there's a decent level of water in them. And I'm just waiting. I saw this technique of cutting the triangle piece, so I wanted to try that. I saw that on Instagram somewhere, but I'm sure you can find it all around because pretty much everybody does it. But as you can see, that's how those are too. So they're just sitting there. Uh, like I said, I know they're going to take a long time to put out any roots, but I like the look of them. And so they'll just sit there until they sprout up any roots. So <clears throat> that's everything that I have propagating in water as of right now. Like I said, it's January 2020. So we'll see as time goes on um, if I take any more cuttings and put them into water. Also, just a sidebar, I harvested some seeds from my Agalonema um, Silver Bay because it flowered. So I want to see, I want to try to germinate them, but I know that's more of a um, involved process. So we'll see what happens with those. But as of right now, this is what I have. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments down below what plants do you have that you're water propagating? Do you prefer propagating in water versus soil? Um, let's talk about it. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.